Welcome back to Digital Dreamscape. Today we're installing the Sabrent Rocket 4.0. So the first thing we need to do is figure out if we have uh, single-sided memory or double-sided. Um, that's pretty easy to identify. You can tell in the picture um, what that looks like. Um, because if we have single-sided, you need to add an extra strip of um, thermal tape. Um, if it's double-sided, then you don't have to add that. So once we get that figured out, um, the drive we're using is double-sided, so I didn't have to add that extra strip. Um, so we go ahead and peel the, the protective layer off, and then we um, line up the uh, drive with the heat sink and stick it in there. Um, next, we're, we're going to peel the back side off the heat sink. Um, just some protective sticky tape stuff. And um, there's, a, there's an offset heat pipe on one side of the heat sink there. And we want to make sure that um, we put that on the side where the screw goes to, to mount the drive. Otherwise, you're going to have a real hard time getting that screw in there. So once we get that lined up and stuck together, um, then we want to go ahead and grab our screws because we've got a four screws that go in the side of the case that were uh, that mount the heatsink to the base plate. Um, so once we get those in, then we're ready to install the drive into the computer. So you probably noticed that my drive um, has white stripes and white pipes on it. And uh, I just painted that in with a little bit of acrylic paint to match my uh, Stormtrooper project. So after we get our screws in and tightened down, then the drive's ready to go into the case. And the first thing I'm going to do is just um, rest my hands or touch my hands or wrist to the side of the case to remove any static electric charge. I, I don't have a problem with static electricity in my place because I've got a, it's on a concrete floor so I'm pretty well grounded. and. So we're just going to slide the um, contact points into the uh, mount and then the screw is really, really small. So it is kind of a pain to get in there. So and then I'm checking to make sure that I got the right screw with the correct thread um, because there's different a lot of different threads and thread pitches and sizes for um, mounting uh, electronics in your computer and I just wanted to make sure that I had the right size screw before I installed it so um, which I don't think I did there so I found one inside the that came with the drive and so going to go ahead and install that. And I was testing there to see if it was magnetic and the screwdriver that it came with is not. Because um, it's, you'll have a time getting that little tiny screw in there. Because <laughs> uh, it's, it's pretty small. So once, once we get it in there, um, we're going to go ahead and just screw it down. Um, and I just wanted to make sure it was aligned properly before I tightened it. And uh, it was, so ahead and snug it down there and that is all it is installed thanks again for watching guys if you enjoy my content uh, click on the subscribe button for me that'd be awesome and also like and comment if you have anything to add and happy gaming